hello guys hello everybody welcome back to my youtube channel my name is villa mama and this is villa mama tv so guys i came across this video which has been making rounds on social media it appears it is a Ghanaian couple uh their video went viral on social media after it surfaced and they were dancing half naked the wife putting on a very big pants the husband in a boxer shorts as well and this video has been making rounds on social media because when it surfaced online, people thought that these were mad people. But this is what actually happened. So the once loving couple were married and they had two sons. They welcomed one of their sons in 2013 and the other son, I don't, I'm not really, I'm not quite sure. So, but they had two sons and they were living happily ever after. And I don't know what happened, but they lost these children to the cold hands of death. Death came knocking and took away their two sons. And ever since then, they've not been able to get over the loss of their sons. Like this is what really plunged them into chronic depression. That is what happened. They lost their sons and... They've not been able to get or they were not able to get over the loss of their children. So they decided like he felt the man felt like, OK, I'm a man of God. I'm a pastor. I pray to God. I worship God. Why would God take away my child? Why would God kill my children? So this two, this couple, they lost faith in God. They stopped believing God. And that is how they now turned their church house into a farm where they grow weed, they grow marijuana, and they themselves, they became drug addicts. They smoke from morning to night. Even to eat is a problem. So that is what happened. So sometimes when I came across this video or the, the story of these people, I really felt so bad. I was so touched because sometimes when you love someone or your loved one, you never know when you might just turn around and you look for that person and you don't see them anymore. So sometimes we should be ready. Like we should have that mental readiness to know that, okay, maybe tomorrow or the next minute, this person or that person might not be there anymore. If you've not experienced any loss, those who have experienced, it can better explain or they better know the feeling, how it feels like, you know. So sometimes we should just be ready. Like we should just live our life one day at a time, believing and depending on God. And also we should also know that all of these things we see in this life, all of these things, they are going to fade away someday. And like they are not going to be there someday. And of course, that is the sad truth about life. So this couple, they live their life as a man and woman of God. They had their church in Ghana. Okay. Show your face. Show your face. After, the lo after their ooh, children ooh, died, ooh, ooh. Papa, they felt like God, like God really disappointed ooh. them. Like God does not love them. Why would God give their Have children? Papa, show your and face. that's how they became depressed. Anxiety also set in and a lot of things. So mental health is not only people who eat from the garbage, uh, from garbage bin. There are a lot of people you see out there well dressed but they have mental issues they have mental problems because sometimes you go through some traumatic experiences in your life that you cannot really get over in in a in a, in a short while so this is what happened with this couple that they lost their two children and and they were plunged into depression anxiety and that is why you see them behaving like they are mad people but it is just because of the pain of losing their children, the frustration, saying that God, uh, God, God, God doesn't love them, or God, why did God take away their children away from them? So they lost faith. They lost, like, they are just living like life means nothing to them. So that is what actually happened uh, to this couple. They really felt like God ha God doesn't love them. God has disappointed them. And so life has no meaning. Life itself is even worthless. Like it's not worth living. So I'm going to share with you guys a video the lady made when she was lamenting and crying over the loss of her children. I'm going to let you guys to watch the video. Ooh, ooh, happy coming day to my late son. Ewa. Ha <laughs> mm. Nobody can take 
Ooh, nobody can take your place for the love that I have for you, my son. Nobody can take, ooh, nobody can take, my dear son. Nobody can take your place for the love that I have for you, my son. Nobody can take, I say nobody can take, my dear son. Nobody can take your place. For the love that I have for you, my dear son, nobody can take, ooh, nobody can take your place, ooh, nobody can take your place. For the love that I have for you, my dear son, nobody can take, ooh. So this is the sad but true story of this Ghanaian couple. And I pray for everyone out there going through any form of loss, any form of depression, that may God comfort you, console you, and be there for you. Guys, I remember I've told you guys this story on my platform many times. I've told you that even my mom, my mom lost her first seed. And it's over 40 years plus. But each time she still remembers and sometimes she'll be like, oh, if that my boy picking me day now, if I don't be now, some very big, big man. It was just fortunate for her that she had us, she had other kids. Like you don't know what that loss could have done to her. Because if she can still remember that she had her first, uh, her first fruit and lost it to the cold hands of death, she still remembers and recounts the incident. It's over 40 years plus today. Then that, that just goes a long way to tell you that no child can replace another child. And sometimes when people go through some things in their lives, you never know their experiences. You never know where they are coming from. So sometimes all we can do is just to show love. It's just to show empathy to people because we never know people's story. We never know people's journey. So sometimes when we are being judgmental, like you don't know people's story. So this is a sad but true story of this Ghanaian couple. I really pray God comforts and consoles them. Yeah. So guys, thank you so much for watching. As always, um, whatever your thoughts, your opinions are, feel free to drop them down below in the comments section. And I'm going to see you guys in my next video. But before my next video, guys, do not forget to go and patronize Chucky Baby Hair. Chucky Baby Hair is the only hair that enhances your beauty. If you want to look beautiful on your special day, if you have any special event coming up, if you want to look in a particular way, if you want a particular hair color or anything, like basically I'm talking about customization. If you want your hair to be customized in a particular way, just tell us before your special day. Tell us where I had before time so that we can actually prepare your hair for you. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'm going to see you guys in my next video. Until then, stay blessed. Bye guys. <laughs> Ya sumu fi pepe pepe wanya hwe ya maye o de ya dwe ne di agoro wo papa ministry o ble 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 ministry ne mpeja da e so o pesi be pepeja wo te de amaka san no ye ma wo ni e wa ogu ye oku ni ya ye o ma e wa ogu ye wo ta go o no ne ku ni e ma fi ya ye ni e ku ma kwara no wo te de amaka no ti isa dwe ni fi utiri wo te de amaka no so o nya ku pon no no ni setan e ku ma kwara wo te e ti san o ma nsu no and so the Dow Jenny for generation. What I got? So we tell my life for your papa home. Or no one did be papa, but no more shame in one young. And no, mommy, and I'm a dad that you'll be dealing with you. What did I make a canoe? And what did you feel? What did I make a canoe? Happy coming day to my late son. Ewa! <laughs> Nobody can take. Ooh, nobody can take your place 
For the love that I have for you, my son, nobody can take. Ooh, nobody can take, my dear son, nobody can take your place. For the love that I have for you, my son, nobody can take. I say nobody can take, my dear son, nobody can take your place. For the love that I have for you, my dear son, nobody can take, ooh, nobody can take your place, ooh, nobody can take your place, for the love that I have for you, my dear son, nobody.